Boom. What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. This is Jay Dumont bringing you another episode of Let's Ball with College Hoops 2K8. Today we face up against Cal State Fullerton. Let's take a look at how they rank up. They're a good shooting team. They've got the edge on us in pretty much every area. They score more, higher three-point percentage. Let's take a look at their good players. Any injuries? Yes, Fernand, Fernando Torres is injured. They have a 7-2 guy in the roster. Artie Clement. Small forward, DJ Amundsen, Jeremy Bragg. So they have three double-digit scores. Oh, I'll fire the three ball away. Especially Jeremy Bragg. So we may have to play a 3-2 zone this game. And see if uh, their big men can beat us. So I guess all we have to do is play the game. Let me try out a 3-2 zone. I got a fresh cup of coffee. Get ready for college hoops on 2K Sports. The Cal State Fullerton Titans go up against the UC Davis Aggies. This should be a whale of a game. Hello, basketball fans. We're here at the Pavilion. Turn down my headphones a bit. This is with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What's your take on this, Bill? I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Marset can hold his own with anyone at the power forward position. He's a tremendous threat thanks to the depth shooting touch of his. Lotan is also a capable power forward. He's a gunner from long range, and that really opens up things for his teammates. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. <laughs> Yeah, they have a tiny team. So let's get full court press in there for Y. Alright, so we'll start off with the two three zone. C. Davis gets the tip, and we're underway. The game has just begun, and they're already in the minimum. Morris set. Dishes it down low. Doyle catches it down low. He the gets hammered. Foul. He'll head to the strike. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting two. He misses the first. Empty from the line. Bucky. Bucky. Lota inbounds the ball. Let's try this three two. Copeland catches it right block. Lota passes it to the elbow. That last twenty footer was offline by Edmondson. Webb went after that rebound hard. Great work. Down low. Puts it up. Yeah. Grabbed by Lota. By yourself, by yourself. Copeland knocks it loose. Nice. And it's picked up by UC Davis. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Tracy Wolfson. Tracy, uh -huh. before the game, we talked with Coach Davis. 
He told me he's aware of the offensive reputation this opponent has, but said as creative as they are with the ball, I think we can be just as inventive defensively, and we'll have a few surprises in store for them today. Vern? Thanks, Tracy. Beats it to the corner. Edmondson uses the crossover. Almost a three point first foul. Foul. First the foul. Foul. the line for two. He'll take the foul. That Jeez. defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the <coughs> shot. <coughs> That's an open and shut case. He got hacked. And he makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. It's going to be soft spots in the zone, but we'll have to deal with that as they come up. Pass, left wing. Jimenez, backs down. From in close, the bank shot won't fall. And it's still all knotted up. Right wing, Gray with the That's shot. That's what the go -ahead isn't supposed to happen. They're up by three. Under 18 minutes left in the half. Morissette backs in. The 15 footer yanked down inside by Jimenez. Jimenez didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where he was. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Lota inbounds the ball. Check it out here. Edmondson gets DJ the three-pointer to go. Hmm. They increase their lead to four. Just over 17 minutes left in the half. Backs him down. Beats it to the baseline. Doyle unloads. Marie yanks it down inside. And Marie. They're playing a 3-2 zone. Your big men have to be alert when they come out in this deep. Goes up. DJ and by Edmondson. They're now out in front by four. Marie brings it up the floor. Swing pass. Left wing. Why did I pass that? Backs down. Stolen by Edmondson. Let's go up uh, with it. An entry pass, Fern. You just can't Edmonds force it in there. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. All right. Shooting. Let's try a man-to-man -man defense again. <clears throat> and he makes the first. <clears throat> Should have started with man and. And he'll come away one of two. Oh, get it out. By Marie. See what happened. They're still out in front by five. Has it on the perimeter. Outright. Come on, he's 6'6. Six, six. You gotta power down. him down there. Passes to the left. Hope's free, but it's recovered by UC Davis. Nice little crossover. Well, oh. just missed it. No three point opportunity, but he'll go to the line for two. Should have been an M1. Shooting two. It's hard to get M1s, though. So. Can't sink the first. Come on, guys. Need the crowd to get up in this one. He sinks the second. Lota inbounds the ball. The full court press. They're bringing the double team. Edmondson. Oh. 
hands it off. Clemen, here's the spin move. Missed shot in the face by Luca. Webb takes it up. There's an N1. Have a chance for the three-point play. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong substitution on the court. Aker makes his first appearance. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Aker. Bray dishes to the top of the key. Takes it up. It's blocked. He nice. just exploded off the floor to time Go Bucky. Go Bucky. Anticipation by the defender. Bounces it to the wing. Jimenez backs in. Kicks it out to the perimeter. Collected inside by Morissette. Doyle catches it outside. Tosses it up. Doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. Still a double-digit game. Spins. Feeds left wing. Edmondson. Has it cross court. Clement passes to the right wing. Right wing. And he's hit the ball around. Bray goes up. Get that out of here. Such an extraordinary feat to block that shot. When you get blocks from a guy like him, it motivates the whole team. Jimenez backs him down, lets it go. And uh. brings it off the floor. He worked hard for that shot, but the defender worked mm. just a little bit harder. Passes it back to the left side. Clement has it left wing. Crosses it over. Skip pass, left wing. Gray. Catches it, baseline, dumps it off. They need to get a shot off. Takes it up. No. Convert, but he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. Ransom should be able to punish them inside more. Good on number two. Edwards makes his first appearance. Williamson inbounds the ball. They're playing man to man here, Vern. Webb beats it to the wing. Williamson for the tie. It falls short. They're still down eight. Down eight. We're down two. Copeland <clears throat> catches it right side. Bray passes it to the high post. Yeah, the man-to-man -man defense is working a bit better. Dishes it to the left wing. Edwards swings it to the right wing. Shoots with the clock winding down. They did just enough to force him to alter his shot. What solid D. Webb shoots it. Just missed it. No three Try to go in for a layup, but He'll go I'll take it. Two. Shooting two. Down the first one. McElroy checks in for the first time. And he ties it up. Copeland inbounds the ball. They try the half court press. And oh, I should have had that. Bray gets it on the low block. Pass. The D guys. Clemens. 
Let's try to learn more with this full with this man to man D. Feeds it to the baseline. Bray gets the board inside. Oh, that it comes in by accident. Or right where to be. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that'll give him the three point chance. Can't convert the three point play. To the elbow. Passes to the top of the key. Doyle. Dumps it off. Williamson backs down. Gets the push shot to fall. Ferdinand's good down there. Take its first time out on the floor. Substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Passes low block. Edmondson. Send him out. Edwards dishes to the wing. Backs in. His first shot of the game. It was drained by Clement. He's got two. Under 11 minutes left in the half. Perimeter. Williamson pulls the trigger. Ledbetter grabs the rock. Oh, Ledbetter. Offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. You're never going to get away bumping the ball handler on a steal attempt. We just cannot score. We're on the rim most of the time. This is because we have poor ratings, poorly rated players. Edwards. Passes it far side. Poked away. Clement with the inside leaner. Nice block. By Williamson. Still a two point lead. Marie goes up. Edmondson mm. corrals the miss inside. Might have to turn up layup success and inside success a bit for both user and CPU. Edmondson dumps it to the paint. Fades away. Hit the left iron, but missed by Lota. But they still lead by two. Out left. Williamson backs him down. Skips it to the high post. Ledbetter throws it up. Hands it goes. Ledbetter. We're all tied up. 16. Lota. Bounces it to the baseline. Edwards catches it. Far side. They came out to compete. Aker goes up. Almost a three point out his first personal. Instead, he'll go to the line situation. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Clement will leave the floor. Gets them both. McElroy inbounds the ball. Under nine minutes left in the half. They've got their defense and it's minute. Man. Has it down low. McElroy beats it to the baseline. Webb goes to the crossover. Top of the key. Dishes it to the right. The tough shot. 
Mm. <clears throat> hey, me again. Knocks down the first one. Copeland is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. It's going to be another tough team to play in their building. He gets the second to fall as well. Clemens, back. <laughs> nice. That's going to be over and back. He just lost track of where he was on the floor, Vern. You have to be able to dribble with your head up or things like this happen. Oh, play drawn up for Webb. Williamson inbounds the ball. Leads him in. Williamson to give them the lead. Finishes in close. <clears throat> Ferdinand's better in close than he is from the three-point line. Damn, it's out of bounds. Crowd's getting loud. He lost track of where he was, Vern. That's just not heads up basketball. McElroy passes inside. Backs in. <sighs> and it's scooped up by Copeland. The student section sounds pretty excited, Fern. I think they like what they're seeing. Mm. Well, that's exactly where you are. When you hear that sound, these fans are wild. Shooting one one. Knocks down the first one. On the Urban to make his first stand off the bench. Gets the substitution on the court. Doyle didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Irvin inbounds the ball. Under eight minutes left in the half. Marie backs down. That will be a five-second call. Violation. Important foul. They're in the penalty now. He went out of bounds again. That will cost them possession. Whew. That could have been avoided, Vern. He might have been a little too concerned with the defense. Backs him down. Lota snatches it down inside. The D served it up to him, and he still doesn't sink it. That'll give the coach a pain in the stomach. Uh. Snatched away. Feeds left wing. Releases. The 15-footer was buried by Edmondson. And they lead by two. Under seven minutes left in the half. Webb. Backs in. They're going to double-team him. Taken away by Aker. He showed great hands on that steal. His man wasn't protecting the ball, and he just snatched it away from him. Last attempt off the mark by Clemens. Here comes the double team. Gets it left wing. Irvin beats it to the wing. Down low. Omar Irvin. Shoots from the post. Edmondson pulls it in. Maybe I have to adjust my playbooks for better dumps it inside three point opportunities. Backs down. Terrific pass. Let me get that board. Aker has it on the free throw line. Bounce pass, right wing. Edmondson. Catches it inside. Lota takes it up, gets another shot, and this time it counts. 
They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. Corner. Kicks it out to the left wing. Raises up. Come on. By Doyle. Webb passes it to the wing. Great offensive rebound. He works so there hard to establish position. <clears throat> Shooting one and one. He can't get the three. On the Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Since the second on the court. both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Cal State oh, Fullerton Ferdinand wants played to go good. big and bring on a post player to give them some extra size. Liberty inbounds the ball. He's doubled up. Clement takes it up. Get it out. The D's been great, Fern. Every shot's being contested. If you like defense, Get you in. got to mm. appreciate this performance. Not a shooting foul. Oh, it is. We're shooting one on one. No, we're shooting two. Oh, we're shooting one on one. On the front end. He gets the second to fall as well. They're going to try to disrupt the flow of the offense with this half court. <laughs> Get it. Titans will retain possession. Who's that blocked by Doyle? Showing the defensive skills. Bragg, the spin move. Jeremy the layup Bragg. is dropped in by Bragg. Uses the teardrop, and oh, what a move! You see, Davis takes its first time out of the game. Inbound the ball. Morris set inbounds the ball. Backs down. Morris set gets it in the paint. Bucky. Bucky. He just rose up and nailed it. That silky smooth release does him well from that distance. Bray. Dangerous pass. Takes the shot. The offensive board gathered by Liberty. Put mm. in on that last layup. Magnificent change of release point. Guys at this level just know how to get their shot away. Has it outright. Webb skips it to the corner. Morissette fires. McElroy fights into the paint and yanks it down. McElroy pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. Off target on the last shot by Webb. Leads him with the pass. They've got to learn to be patient on offense. Good Defense shots will foul. come. That's his second rush down. Webb gets the reach-in ball. Foul. They're in the penalty, so they get the line for a one. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. And that's good on the front end. He gets them both. McElroy inbounds the ball. The Aggies with some difficulties. Right wing. Dishes it to the right side. Goes up. Gets and one. He's got a chance to add one more. 
He needs to make sure he gets a piece of the ball, too, if he's going to foul him that late on an attempt. Substitution got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. He's down to two bars because he's tired. Back to on the free throw for the three-point play. Hooked away. Get it. And it's picked up by UC Davis. Marie to tie the game. He fouled it hard. Foul. We'll take it. That's his second line. personal shot. Foul. Was clearly affected by the contact there. Good call. One plus the penalty. Two shots. And he makes the first. Clement is back in the game after a short rest. Free throws good, and we're all knotted up. Morris inbounds the ball, takes it up. The offensive rebound snatched down. Get in the hair. That's why coaches yeah. want you to hit the glass when the shot is released. Good things happen when you keep that pressure on. He right. Stepped out. Kevin watches feet and steps on the line. Look out. We're going the other way. He forgot one of the most basic things in basketball. There, his position on the floor. Marie hammered, and he will go to the line. One plus the penalty, two shots. Are we 12 and 2? Knocks down the first motion on the Buford to make his first standoff. I should have made my schedule harder. I didn't think about it though. Start the season. He gets them both. The Cal State Fullerton coach is trying to stop the bleeding where they've got to catch their breath and put a stop to this run. Oh, the guys are energized by the run. Inbound the ball. Now not so much. Oh yeah, still energized. Morris inbounds the ball. Cal State Fullerton needs to cut down on the turnovers. And Tracy is near their bench. Tracy? The Titans coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants, our fundamentals are abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. Thanks, Tracy. 2-12 left in the first half. Showtime! He didn't have to make it that difficult, but it sure looked good. Webb. Two minutes Bounces remaining. The baseline. Two minutes. Doyle gets it right wing. The steal. You can see his coach just saying, why? You have to know what you're going to do with the basketball before you take off. Shooting one and one. <sighs> and he makes the Don't want Webb picking up that fourth. He needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Gets the second to fall as well. Williamson inbounds the ball. They're going to stick with them all the way up the floor in the full court. Man to man. <sighs> Skip pass. High post. Doyle. Ah. <sighs> Liberty snags it. Might as well let him shoot. Much Can't make him. Than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. That last 11 footer was off by Bragg. 115 left in the first half. It doesn't matter how far you've got to go to get them, Burr. Every rebound nice. is essential. They're doing it at the foul line. One plus the penalty. Two shots. High scoring first half. It's my mic. All right. He makes the first. He's off on the second. Oh. 
has it. Top of the key. Let's make it tough for them. Top of the key. Dumps it to the inside. Snatched off the boards by McElroy. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Vern. From close range. Morissette beats it to the top of the key. Morissette catches it on the elbow. Buford. Has it inside. Liberty passes back to the strike. Passes to the right wing. Buford skips it to the left. Liberty, no luck. All right, first half, we're up a point. And this is going to be a grit grind. I'm still going to go with Jimenez, but most of the second half will be McEnroy. McElroy and Bucky Moore said I don't think Jimenez There's is gonna be his potential with the score 35 to 34. will be seen in this game give us your opinion on the first half Bill boy these teams are in a lockdown mode neither side is given an inch on the defensive end that's for sure Usual suspects. And now it's time to show you our player of the half. Bill Webb would not be denied. He was going to do everything and anything to get his points. Whether he had to go over, under, or around defenders to get to the 10, he did it. He is a man possessed right now, Vern. Big man game. Alright, I'm gonna cut this off. Be right back. Boom. We're back. Alright, so. We're doing terrible on the offensive glass. We're not getting no points to tradition. Wouldn't hurt us to go deeper down our bench. Don't see them. Uh, more pressure on D. Should run more fast breaks. down a little bit, get the pressure up. We're bigger than them, so we can crash the boards a bit. The cards are killing us. They got those two threes. When we were in we're all set to begin the zone defense, half. so Clement inbounds it to start the second half. Three two zone, I should say. Strip That's right, away. get that out of there. Way up for it. Let's send it down to Tracy Wilson. Get in. During half time, and one. Coach Davis, Whew. he said that in order to hold on to this narrow lead, they're going to have to do some things different in the second half. Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back to you. Nice work, Tracy. Double. Lock on D there. Clement goes up. Lock. They're just gonna have to change their game plan, Vern. This kid's just turning everything away so far. Boom. Last basket was buried by Marie. Clement inbounds the ball. This crowd is going insane. I love the energy of this M1. Listen to uh. Just too much contact there, Vern. You're not going to get away with it if you affect the shot that much. I was going insane. Shooting two. 
Just off on the right foot. Knocks down the first two. Clement didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Gets the second to fall as well. Here's the spin move. Puts it up. The run cannot be stopped by Clement. Marie passes it up court. For a guy like him to miss an easy opportunity like that is oh. very rare, Vern. Well. Last 15 footer dropped in by Webb. Okay. Give me that. And it's scooped up by Webb. The defense <laughs> how to match up with these guys. And you can see the frustration is starting to set in. That's how we start a half. Uh, lets it go. Jerry Knocks it down Brad. to three point land. My bad. But they're still behind by nine. Webb beats it to the right, puts it up. The jumper was buried by Doyle. He's one for four for the game. About 17 and a half minutes left in the second half. Hands it off. And they're in some kind of zone. Dish, high post. Clemens. It's stolen by Jimenez. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one. Oh. Last basket on the board by Marie. Cal State Fullerton is really struggling. Left wing. Good tea. Bray shoots with oh. the clock winding down. Misses, but he'll get two oh, shots. Oh, that's his fourth foul. That's a problem. Knocks down so the first one. Cool. Williams is back in the game after a short rest. Pulling down low with Williamson. <clears throat> and he splits the free throws. Our layup good by Clement. He's shooting well, quiet at the crowd. The game. They're playing a 2 3 zone, Vern, trying to take away their low post and force some jump shots. Williamson gets it far side. Feeds left wing. Doyle for three. Oh. Gets it to go. He's one for three from downtown. Right around 16 minutes left in the second half. Shooting oh. two. Well, we're not out of the clear yet, so we're out of this building with a win. And he makes the first. That run certainly helped. I don't know why they want to play a 2 3 zone. He gets them both. Jimenez inbounds the ball. Leads him with the pass. Marie. Gets it right wing. Williamson backs in. Right wing. Oh. 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 
fires. The shot was missed long by Marie. They still have an 11 point lead. What a pass. The last Jeremy layup was in by Bragg. Beautiful move, Vern. Could this guy be any more graceful? Jimenez backs him down. Skips it to the perimeter. Marie catches it, top of the key. Doyle has it, baseline. Jimenez raises up, got it from the left block. Jimenez. They now lead by 11. Nice. And it's Give it up to the big guy. And one. And he'll have a chance Too small. Point. Run him right over. Alright, so maybe Jimenez is going to be effective in this game. He's being very effective right now. on the free throw for the three-point play. Lota inbounds the ball. The Titans are really struggling. The Cal State fourteen coach might have decided to switch things up a little bit. He's going to take time to make sure everybody's clear. Keep that defense the rocking. Playing the D in this game. To the inside. That's right, you don't want to over ransom. Dumps it down low. Line ball. Dishes to the free throw line. Lota snatches the offensive rebound. Bounce pass, right wing. Throw it to him. Lota. Dumps it off. Lota beats it to the right corner. And it's well, with the steal. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and when he got the chance, he pounced for the steal. Right wing. Williamson backs him down, passes to the top of the key. Marie. Skips it to the wing. He's double teamed. Oh, I didn't want to shoot it, but Ransom makes it anyway. Ransom's on fire. Serious problems with their interior defense, and Tracy has a report from their bench. The Titans coach just told the players on his bench, "We have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact." Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. All right, Tracy. Pick them clean. Well, the game just slows down for him to the point he sees things that others don't. Pass. Far side. Shoots. Ripped down by Jimenez. Tries again. Follows his miss. There you go. He's got 11. Wow, he's now killing it. Got the momentum slipping away from his team, and I'm sure he's hoping this time out will straighten them out. Cool with this lineup. Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams will make some substitutions. Clement inbounds the ball. The Titans. Need to find some answers here. Aker. Top of the key. Copeland passes to the top of the key. There's someone to bring it in here. Copeland has it on the inside. Skip pass. Right wing. Clement shoots it, drops it in Ooh. from beyond the arc. And they now trail by 15. They're in a 2-3 zone with minimum principles. They'll try and shut down those passing lanes. Williamson gets it outright. Backs in. Jimenez beats it to the right wing. 
The triple mm. was off the mark by Williamson. But they're still out in front by 15. Hardy Clement. Hardy Clement coming Jimenez to 13. The ball. Jimenez backs down. Kicks it out to the wing. Jimenez calls in the board. Oh, must an M1. While wow, we're killing him on the boards, and that's a problem with running his own. It's hard to box out and get rebounds in his own defense. It's basketball 101. At least that's why we raised the crash. Well, that's not why we raised the crash the boards, but it's going along well with raising of the crash boards. On the second, right around 11 minutes left in the second half. Hardy Clemento going to work. Bray hands it off. Aker. I'm just playing like a freestyle offense. Line ball dishes to the right side. Down low, takes the Get shot. that out. Corralled by Jimenez. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Jimenez backs down. They're going to double team him. Williamson from the wing. Come on. Jimenez grabs the rebound inside. Off target on the last layup. Meant to pump fake. With some abysmal stats. The crossover knocks it loose, and it's nice. given up by Williamson. Great anticipation and quick hand. It's a deuce the other way if you don't protect the basketball. Passes it to the top of the key. McElroy catches it on the free throw line. Double there touches the layup and gets it to four. McElroy. And they now go up by 16. Here comes the double team. Line ball tosses it up court. I'm out Cal on State board. Fullerton calls time. They've got one left. Let's get one out there with four. That better. I mean, as is exhausted. Let's try Elmer Irvin. Getting those boards. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Substitution on the court. Aker inbounds the ball. Our small Dumped team, we saw that coming in. Snatched off the defensive glass by Irvin. Williamson. Webb from deep. Mm. Lota yanks it down. He'll make that one most of the time. But the D got a break on that one. Deflects the pass. And it's controlled by UC Davis. Goes Boom. in. Breakaway Led finish better. by Ledbetter. Go Ledbetter. He's got four. The Titans down big. Poke loose. Give me that. And it's gathered up by Ledbetter. It's one on one. Backs him down. What a phenomenal steal. That's showing a tremendous nose for the ball and quick hands to boot. Right wing. Bounces it to the left wing. Irvin. Irvin. And one. That's his second goal. personal foul. Terrific foul. work to absorb the contact. Hang in the air and hit the shot. Was that a three? 
too. He's out there for shooting. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Aker inbounds the ball. The Titans will try to end this run. Lota hands it off. Skips it cross court. Snatched inside by Irvin. He can live with that miss. He was open, and he knows that he can make it more often than not. With the shot. Irvin for three. They're leading 73 to 49. The Aggie Pack is into this game now. They are going the Aggie Pack. <laughs> Listen to those kids. There's nothing like a college hoops atmosphere. The Titans. Rocking them. Elmer Irvin at the five. I'm sorry, at the four. Ledbetter passes it up court. Williamson has it left wing. Lob left side. Ledbetter backs in. Webb. Sinks it. Boom. Shooting practice now. Cal State Fullerton has been on the wrong side. Shooting practice. And Tracy's got a report for us. The Titans coach was extremely agitated and just told his guys, if we can't put a stop to this run, heads are uh. going to roll. Guys, he's looking for more aggressive play out of his defense. Thanks, Tracy. Urban pulls it in off the glass. They gotta find a way to stop this onslaught. Well, the best defense can be a good offense, and they don't seem to have one right now. Webb uses the crossover, gets it outside. From 18 fouled again wow. and, and one wow. Look at the Elmer Irvin is killing it Buford got a quick breather but they need him back on oh my floor. goodness it's good Isaiah Hall at the five Elmer good. Irvin I like him Lota inbounds the ball. The Titans have got a lot of ground to make up. Buford beats it to the elbow. Copeland blocked. And it's out of bounds. Last Williamson with the block, but Irvin got a piece too. Up by 30. Alright, let's get let's start this getting these guys out of here. Edmondson. Passes to the right. We dominated this half. By UC Davis. Leads him in. Urban catches it. Cross court. Webb snatches the rebound. Ah. Last layup, no good. The Titans will try Irvin to with the heat this check. Line. That's a rare miss there for them. As long as they keep running their offense like they've been doing, though, they'll be fine. Throws it up. The three was drained by Bragg. Bragg. You and see Davis. Four. Calls time. Do some subs here. That's pretty good. The Try to get these guys some confidence. We're up 27. Chris inbounds the ball. Chris backs him down, gets it right wing. Ledbetter beats it to the top of the key. Left wing. Bounces it to the left. Irvin pulls the trigger. Copeland mm. pulls it in. But they're still up by 27. The steal I by UC Davis. He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Kicks it out to the outside. The crossover. Ledbetter has it top of the key. Feeds left wing. Irvin launches one from beyond the arc. Goff keeps it alive on the offensive end. 
Led better. Right wing. Passes it to the high post. Irvin backs down. Led better. Lota hauls it in. That's his eighth rebound of the contest. Oh, no, almost stolen. Stolen by uh, the second half. Is it Hall? That's the shot you work for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. The defense will have to show him some respect because he will hit that given another chance. Passes left side. It's deflected Ooh, and it's bad. scooped up by Copeland. And it was the late. Titans need to find some answers here. It's a foul. Well, that's his first foul. And that's his Third first foul. foul. The Titans substitution will make some substitutions. He should concentrate on just getting good position instead of flailing away at the ball like that. Copeland inbounds the ball. Buford. Ernest Crisp is better at this position with Irvin at the three when they're both in. Aker dumps it off. Crisp. Intercepted. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Mm. The Titans, with some difficulties, takes it up. Laid in with the D right in his face. Sweet finish by Clement. But they're still behind by 25. Gets it on the strike. Hall dumps it to the paint. There you go. The shot by 27. Stolen. Stolen away by UC Davis. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. He would be the first oh. to admit he's not built for the up and down game. Since he doesn't have that foot speed. He's going to have to fight for those. 247 left in the game. Now I like what I'm seeing here. Tip. And Tip to Ken. You see Davis. The break is on. Chris goes up. I'd love to see that. Oh. He's looking around and pounce. Such a Ernest. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. Defensive foul. Yeah. First personal foul. Four foul. So the four and Elmer Irvin of three. I'm getting used to these bench players as well. I know Isaiah Hall can score down the post. He can't get the first. Is them both. Irvin with another board. Skips it to the right side. Backs in. Led better. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Passes it to the free throw line. Chris gets it down low. Off target on the last layup from inside. Ah, Copeland that one was falling. I could have grabbed the rebound again. We had a one point lead at halftime. It's now 31. Wow. Just came so fast. We'll see them again on their home floor. Might be a little hard to get in that run. Once we got on that run, everything started clicking. Gets the second to fall as well. Clement is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Hall inbounds the ball. Give it to him. Hall backs down. Has it in the paint. Three second violation. Got where he was Meant to throw it. And he gets called for oh. a three second violation. To Elmer Irvin for a three. My bad. The Titans need to find some answers here. I'm just go man to man now. Uh 
Um, Irvin Clement holding his own on Clement on defense. Out left. Ferdinand Williamson had trouble doing that. Let's see how he fares. Copeland bounces it to the right block. Gee, Last shot Lota. laid in by Lota. Had this flurry come at a different point of the game, it might have changed the outcome, Bill. Vern, there wasn't any chemistry. They needed a better start and a flow to their game. Dishes out left. Hall backs in. Led better. Led better. Takes it up. Commits the ball. Mm. Just missed it. No three point opportunity, but he'll go to the line for two. Good job, Ernest. And he makes it. Substitution. He just needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. I became at someone different in this bench unit. Marty uh, Goff had that. Huge performance. Ernest Crisp had a huge performance. Now Elmer Irvin. It's Isaiah Hall's turn one of these games. In terms of bench unit. This game is over. Go to five and zero in conference play. That's the game. Great second half. The Titans, eighty-seven to sixty-one. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Play with twenty-three in limited minutes. Now we'll do some more of the really fun stuff. The recruiting, the development. Now it's him to the studio in Great Gumble with the Pontiac game changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumble, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game changing performance. There is nothing more exciting in basketball than a slam dunk that rocks the house. The huh. UC Davis Aggie slammed the door on their opponents. The one dunk in his dunk package. Like this is a dunk his teammates will be buzzing about for a while. Look at the fury with which he throws it through the hoop. Okay, thanks, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. Glad you were here with us for College Hoops 2K8. Okay, let's do... Oh, check out the teams here. Shot 42%. 20% from three. Only 10 turnovers there, 24. That's what killed him in the second half. 20 steals for us. 42 points in the paint. That's why they went to the 2 3 zone. 28 bench points. 12 fast break. Let's see this box score. Felt Marie, 13 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals, a block, and only 1 turnover. Live with 23 points, 5 boards, 3 assists, 2 steals. Doyle had three blocks and a steal. Bucky had six and three. Ransom had twelve and five and two blocks. Ferdinand had a block and two steals. Six steals for Ledbetter. Wow. To go along with six points, two boards, three assists. Fifty percent from the field. McElroy was giving us hustle out there. Two blocks. Crisp had four points. Goff didn't score. Elmer Irvin. Eleven and four. Isaiah Hall even had two steals. Usually they get tipped from a guard or something. And they don't get credited with it. Alright, so we'll do individual training. So for Marie, we're going to train his post play and his speed and quickness. Now let's do his handle ball and passing. Web. Defense. Post play. Stamina durability. Mom Doyle. 
awareness, consistency, clutch, durability, stamina, bucky, rebounding, inside scoring, speed and quickness off the jump, ransom, rebounding, inside scoring, speed and quickness, Ferdinand, Shooting, consistency, durability, stamina, Ernest Ledbetter, inside scoring, post play, strength, Ronson, rebounding, defense, speed and quickness, we want a quick team, Ernest Crisp, we get the shooting up a bit. Defense and the speed and quickness. Marty Goff. Get him some post playing defense. Some quickness. Elmer Irvin. Let's get his shooting. Rebounding. Speed and quickness. Isaiah Hall. Inside scoring. Post play. Strength. Bosahan, post play, post play, balanced, you see Laurie who continues to improve, inside scoring, skills, speed and quickness. So let's see if the polls give us any love yet, as we watch college hoops tonight. Hi everyone, I'm Greg Dumble at the Anchor Desk with my partner Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll recap the biggest games of the week, as well as give you a preview of some of the huge matchups coming up around the nation in the next few days. But let's start off with who we selected for our NCAA Player of the Week. Bolton is becoming a regular on this part of the show, Greg. He's been our Player of the Week several times already. We may have to name the award after him pretty soon. Wow, 33 over two games. There were some fantastic matchups this past week, mm. so let's take a closer look at them in our Games of the Week. We kick it off with a big-time conference matchup in the America East Conference. In the Pac-10, UCLA knocked off USC. The UCLA Bruins made the most of their opportunity to move up, and that's going to serve them very well as we get closer to conference tournament time, even if it's just in seeding position. Harrington was absolutely unstoppable. His 22 Big Joe points Harrington. The they needed an effort like that to get this win. He saw all sorts of defensive looks, but no matter what they threw at him, he handled it and handled it well. And two teams, each enjoying a spot in the top 25, Oregon, got together and one. defeated Washington State. This game wasn't as close as I expected it to be, but there still was high-level basketball played. So I expect lost the to game. see more of both of these teams in the future. Oregon did a tremendous job in the rebounding department. It was truly a dominant performance on the glass. They showed great hustle and determination every time a shot went up on either end. That's always an area that can really be an indicator of a team's performance, and the rebounding numbers told the tale in this one. Very true. Now let's take a look ahead to the games that get top billing on the schedule in the days to come. I'm looking forward to this game just like everybody else. This matchup has the possibility of becoming quite a little rivalry because these teams match up so well against each other, and it's always a heated atmosphere when they're on the court together. North Carolina State can overtake the Seminoles. North Carolina State should come out on top. Standing. I had to make a prediction. Their backcourt is so solid this year, and their guards love to get out and run. That gives them a huge advantage in a game that should be as fast-paced as this one will be. And there's another game on the agenda that's wow. too juicy to ignore. Anytime a pair of top five major. teams squares off, it has the potential for major ramifications when the tournament committee gets together to discuss potential number one seeds come March. Oregon, take be Oregon in that one. They are so strong on the inside that I believe they'll be just too tough to match up with. It would really surprise me if that talent discrepancy on the inside doesn't tell the tale of this game. 
That's our show, everyone. For all of us here at the 2K Sports Studios, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Let's see if we're ranked in the mid-majors poll. Probably not. Oh, there we are, 13. Rank 13. Right underneath us is Cal Poly. Interesting. Very interesting. Not the top 25, though. RPI. We're fifth overall. Is that strength of schedule? I don't remember. Wow. We're in the, not in the top 25. Yeah. We jumped up there We're with the big names in RPI. Cool. Let's see what recruits want to play for a winning program here. Let's see what we can do this week. Can we? We can scout. Scout, we can visit Wadud. Scout, scout, visit Judd Gross. And scout. He's only a one star, but he's, he's putting up numbers. John Gross, six ten. Big body. You can actually visit him at home. Theodore Hawkins. Let's just remove him from the list. Hale. Very big body. He's a banger. He's strong. Can't shoot the three. Not very good in the mid range. He can rebound. Above average D in size. So I don't know. We'll keep our eye on him. Junior college, he'd be able to come in and give us a. Let's be close to home. Give us someone who can play right away. Hornsby, I still like the numbers he was putting up, even though his rankings aren't that great. He can play in the low post offense. Got a vertical. Medium three point close or C's. He was putting up numbers. Can only phone him this week. My dude, wa dude. Can actually visit him at home. The Forest wa dude, junior college freshman. I'm gonna scout one of these guys. Got gross. He's a banger. We can scout scout gross and wadud. So let's send him to scout wadud. And him to scout. Can we do anything else with anybody else?
Let's send him to scout. Gross. Now, how many phone calls do we have left? Two. Make a phone call to Hornsby. First, give everyone their email. Hopefully, it doesn't go in their spam folder. And that's it. That's all we can do. So they're taking notice. Now, this is the biggest matchup yet 12 and 3 Cal Poly. UC Davis. Tough one at Cal Poly. So we'll see what happens. Save our legacy. I want to say thanks for joining me. Big matchup next time for Conference Supremacy. Catch you then. Peace out, everybody. Thanks for watching.